Get ready for the morning rush. A quick wrap of your news and weather. We'll start with Kristen Curry. Again, morning, we'll start with the next big weather maker. It's in the form of high pressure, so no rain, no snow, no clouds, even above us, above us today, that is. And even tomorrow, looking at a full day of sunshine, temperatures well above average in the 70s and 80s, both today, tomorrow, and Thursday. Adam? As you get ready to head out the door, we're following the day's top local stories, and we'll start with David Romero. Well, Adam, the organization whose goal it is to prove the innocence of wrongly convicted individuals is facing some big financial troubles. Now, the New Mexico Innocence and Justice Project is funded through a federal grant, private donations, and support from the UNM Law School. The grant is set to expire in May, and the state budget shortfall spells cuts and funds to UNM. All their work is done for free. Now, their efforts center on using DNA evidence to prove innocence. Crystal? This morning, the Senate Armed Services Committee hears from the senior leader of the Marine Corps about the secret Facebook page. General Robert Neller is expected to testify about the page that featured nude images of female service members. Last week, he called the scandal, quote, embarrassing to our Corps, to our families, and to the nation. Four suspected car thieves are facing car theft charges this morning thanks to an observant off-duty officer. Police say that officer spotted the stolen truck on Sunday at a Circle K and called 911. Officers followed the truck to 98th and Sage, where they used spike strips to stop it. They say the suspects took off running. All four were caught. This morning, if you stop by one particular Santa Fe Cafe, you'll receive a note telling you where they stand on the immigration debate. The owner of Plaza Cafe Southside has added a note to every receipt that reads, Immigrants make America great. They also cooked your food and served you today. End quote. Management says it decided to add that note a couple of months ago to show support for its diverse employees. Today, people living in Rio Rancho are invited to give input on the city's water protection program and plan. That program is designed to protect drinking water sources from contamination to protect the city's health. Rio Rancho does have a plan in place already, but it's ready to hear more ideas. That meeting is scheduled to start at 2 today at City Hall. This morning, we're waiting to get word on when services for a fallen officer will be scheduled. Officer James Largo was shot along a county road Saturday while responding to domestic violence call. He was flown to UNM hospitals where he later died. Police say they do have a suspect in custody. They're not releasing details just yet. Governor Martinez plans to issue a proclamation to lower flags to half staff to honor the life of Navajo Nation officer Largo. Arizona's governor did the same over the weekend. Governor Martinez says she is confident that the person responsible for killing Largo will face the quote full measure of justice. Two stores in Albuquerque expected to close their doors soon. Department store chain Gordman's filed for bankruptcy. They have locations at Coronado and on the west side. It filed for Chapter 11 amid sluggish sales. There's no timetable for when the company will liquidate its inventory. Gordon CEO says for now stores will be operating as usual. We are waiting to find out the next steps for a city plan to connect all of the neighborhoods along Central. Urban planners unveiled their proposals, including adding a new park at the entrance of Knob Hill right at Girard and Central. Right now, there's no guarantee that any of this will get done and no set funding. The urban planners behind these ideas are from a national firm hired by the city using grant money. Kristen? Time now for a check on the Metro Threat Index. There's nothing out there today except for sunshine, light winds about 5 to 15 out of the northwest, and temperatures well above average. Even Albuquerque looking at a forecast high of about 77. The record high stands at 79, so we'll certainly be close. We'll keep a close eye on it. Crystal? The first New Mexico flight from the spaceport to help test one of the new manned spaceships that NASA will use for astronaut trips up to the space station is now in the books. Recently, Boeing sent up a test version of its new Starliner capsule from Spaceport America on a high altitude balloon. That Starliner is one of two spacecraft that NASA has chosen to replace the space shuttle. On to a new study results, having children may lead to a longer life. That's according to a study in Sweden. It followed more than one million people. It found that being a parent may extend life expectancy for seniors by as much as two years. Researchers say child support and navigating the health system may be part of that reason. Facebook is banning software developers from using its data for surveillance. Last year, the ACLU said police were using location data from Facebook and other social media to spy on protesters in places like Ferguson, Missouri. This morning, a town in Ontario, authorities rather, in Ontario are looking for a man who took hundreds of dollars from them. Chris Robinson claimed to be with a show called Burger Wars. He promised restaurant owners a big break, asking them to pay $500 and gather thousands more from town residents and sponsorship money to make it happen. Days before the taping, he canceled, kept the money. Robinson denied those claims, says he plans to give the money back. 
This morning, inventor of a unique coffee machine bringing third wave coffee into the homes of coffee lovers prepares to hit the market on Kickstarter. It's called Perk Brew. It brews pour over coffee. The result is third wave coffee, which is described as a handcrafted brewing process where there is a total and even saturation of coffee grounds. Not only is it available to purchase, local coffee shops want to use it as well. We have more information on CareQE.com and on the CareQE News app. Kristen? Time now for a check on your Tuesday morning commute. No major incidents to slow you down, but we do have a little bit of a sluggish commute. Coors southbound heading out of Corrales towards Alameda down to about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Give yourself some extra time there. A companion book to the Harry Potter series is getting some attention for setting another new record. Audible, Amazon's audiobook service, says that Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them is its most pre-ordered title ever. The audiobook goes on sale today. Audible declined to share specific sales figures, though. Get this, today's a great day to indulge in some junk food because it's National Chimp Day. It's the country's number one snack food. According to the Northern Plains Potato Growers Association, the average American eats over four pounds of potato chips every single year. I believe, I believe it. it. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Love me some potato chips. Yep, sounds really good to me, too. Let's move on to the five facts this morning. Start with number five. Bernalillo County Sheriff's deputies need your help finding stolen artwork this morning. Take a look at your TV screens here. The pieces of art were taken from a home in the North Valley between February 12th and February 15th. The deputies say the art is worth more than $8,000. If you've seen the pieces or know who took them, you're asked to call authorities. At number four, a major winter storm is moving through the northeast part of the country this morning. It's ex expected to bring blizzard conditions affecting 50 million people. The worst of the storm will stretch from D.C. to Boston and can bring two feet of snow or more. Schools are closed today. Airlines are canceling flights. Subway service is also suspended in New York. And some governors are already declaring state of emergencies. Crews are also preparing to handle power outages as well. The snow is already falling in the mid-Atlantic. More to come through the rest of today. It's the same storm that swept through the Midwest, causing a huge pileup in Chicago. But that storm is moving away from us. It brings us to number three. We have high pressure moving in over New Mexico, so sunshine and warm temperatures. The big story, light winds about 5 to 15, but those above average temperatures continue today through this weekend. On to number two, the state's MVD is changing how it notifies drivers of expiring emissions tests again. This comes after a News 13 special assignment that covered major problems. The MVD had been sending separate emissions alert letters, but drivers didn't get those letters and some were fined. Starting tomorrow, they'll go back to the old method, notifying Bernalillo County drivers on their car registration postcards. On to number one. Now this morning, the president is expected to meet with Republicans who have criticized the GOP's plan to replace Obamacare. This comes after the Congressional Budget Office, a nonpartisan group, estimates 14 million Americans will lose health insurance next year under the new proposed bill. It could grow to 24 million in 2026. The White House says the plan will lead to more competition and less regulation and that it will actually bring down the cost of care.